This will not be easy. And we will not go down without a fight. Survival will be key. We will survive or die. Surviving Colorado. What's happening everybody? Street here, PC Gamer, Shenanigans Extraordinaire. Welcome back. Surviving Colorado Season 2, Episode 9. Last episode, we penetrated the perimeter of the airfield and we made it to the safe zone. I keep saying safe zone. It's not a safe zone. It's a stronghold area. <laughs> but we made it nonetheless. And here we are, dude. The next set of goals is uh, coming at you, dude. Because now that we're here, we got to get the fuck out and get to our next location. So let's have a look at today's goals before we go any farther. Goals will pretty much be what you would expect them to for episode 9. First, I need to survive Ridgeway Airport. And second, I still need that damn backpack. Third, I really think that I'm going to need some more meds because I have none and my health is at about 70%, maybe 65. Um, I need to set more goals. You know what, let's set a goal right now and say that I'm not going to take damage from this point on until I get to the parking lot. The par parking lot is infested, so I'm pretty confident I can make it from there to there. And last but not least, um, I'm I'm getting I'm still I'm thirsty, dude. I'm gonna need more drinks. I have no drinks now, and uh, I actually think that could be a problem because the stretch that I'm gonna go on now is uh, is gonna be kind of a bitch to find drinks. So I think we're gonna need drinks, and that is gonna be the fifth and final goal. All right. That being said, dude, let's keep moving. Now I want to just kind of check out. I'm thinking that yeah, the too many zombies that go over there. Holy shit. Holy shit. Wow, dude, there's way too many zombies over here, too. Dude, I don't know if there's going to be anything good over there, but really? Oh, God damn it, dude. I don't see shit, though. This airport hasn't shown me the fruits well enough to make me want to risk my life and go in there and look for stuff, dude. Like, there's been nothing really that counts <laughs> in here. The only beneficial thing that I could really say that is pretty beast is this is this scope right here. The scope is awesome because it gives me quick access to a scope for recon so I can zoom and I do appreciate that. But what am I going to find? I don't need a better gun. <clears throat> I don't need uh, the only the only thing I'd benefit from and and really at this point is some armor and um a, a better backpack. So I'm going to say screw that noise. Dude, I still, I still want this freaking crossbow, though. Let's see, and I dropped that clip, didn't I? Is there any way I could get that crossbow? I could grab it, but what am I gonna... I'd have to drop too much. I got too much weight. Yeah, let me just grab that. Okay, now I gotta... Let's see. Yeah, I gotta grab this and reload it. Let me get this reloaded. There you go, throw that in there, reload it, get it, ugh. I need to throw the scope on this thing if I was stalking somebody. That thing, dude, you can, that thing's not not too bad of a uh, sniper rifle when you're using it as such. I mean, it, it's not going to get the job done if you don't hit a perfect headshot, but dude, you get a perfect headshot, you can, you can do damage with that thing. Ooh, look at all the gear over here. What do we got? Ooh, another crossbow, a Jericho. I definitely want the ammo out of that. See, let's drop the clip. Um, you know, I dude, I don't need all these chips, and that'll free up a slot. Now that I think about it, got to deal with cooldown times. Let's see, I could drop that Jericho. Let's see, grab, grab that one. Can I, no, I need to. Damn it! <laughs> got to eat these chips. There we go. Okay, we still got cooldown times. No one's behind me. Standing here like an idiot. Wow, this is just retarded, but I want that mag. I want it'd just be dumb for me not to fucking take it. Uh, okay, eat that other bag of chips we have now. I got like 12 chocolate bars, uh, 10 chocolate bars, so I don't really need the chips right now. The chips just don't really help anything anyway. All that did really was make me more thirsty, and that probably wasn't good. Well, I'm, I'm entitled to fail every once in a while, right? I'm entitled to fail every once in a while. 
Let's get the scope back on this, because, dude, I'm really enjoying that I can just click freaking rice mount, uh, right, yeah, rice mountain button, right mouse button, and pull that scope up to recon the area. All right, dude, we got to get out of here. We spent a lot of time in here, and uh, it's time to leave. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Got to be totally honest, I'm getting nervous. I spent a lot of time and haven't run into any action, and that just doesn't seem normal. I've already checked these areas. The loot has been pretty bammer. I think I'm going to go check this fire truck real quick, though. I didn't really check it the last time. Hopefully there's some... Maybe some meds. God, I really need to find some meds. Need to find a lot of shit, actually, at this point. <laughs> like, dude, the whole trek over here and the game crashing on me initially when I got to the airfield it, to jack me for two bottles of painkillers and actually a drink and now I have no more drink well I have this water but uh, that's gonna be up I mean look at it. I'm thirsty right now I'm gonna have to use that here in a minute dude you know what I'm gonna drop the pickaxe you know why because the fire axe actually weighs a little bit less I believe if I remember the uh, the the spec sheet right and it also swings faster than the pickaxe so this is actually a better better melee weapon I love the pickaxe. Marcus and Sinful know that that is my shit. And what's up? Big shout out to Marcus, Marcus and uh, Sinful Duck. But <laughs> they they know the pickaxe is just that street shenanigans right there. All right, this guy, he, I have to. He looks like a midget zombie, and there's no reason why I wouldn't just put that that dude out of his misery. Like maybe somebody hacked his knees off, you know, and he's just standing there and he's just struggling and. I, I'm gonna be that guy that's I'm gonna put him out. Yeah, there's a zombie right around the corner here. Yes, there is. All right, I'm gonna I'm just gonna move around that. I don't need to expose myself by killing zombies, and I'm I'm doing good right now. I'm not taking damage. I gotta get to the parking lot. Um, but yeah, the pickaxe is beast, dude. But the pickaxe is too heavy right now. I'm I'm trying to work my way down. If I'm gonna have a a big hefty melee weapon, barbed wire don't need it. I'd rather have a fire axe because, dude, this thing's a little bit quicker on the swing. And I think it's a little bit lighter, so win-win for Strizzy. And there's two of them over there. If I had a bigger backpack, I'd grab one and maybe make it to the safe zone and drop it off. But having a hell of a fucking time finding a backpack. <laughs> oh my god. Backpack shit's ridiculous right now. Alright, well, zombies are dead. I'm, uh, I'm going to make my way through here. Hey, guy. Yeah, come on over, dude. I'll wait for you. Wait for you to come through. All right, I just got to get out of here, dude. I got to get out of the airfield. I don't know how much more I really want to... Ooh, an item box. Hello. Hello, item boxes. I love the way this thing swings, too. It's just down, man. It's just, the animation, I think it's just purely faster, dude. You can tell. It's just faster. Ah, full. All right, fuck, dude. I got to drink the water anyway. Here got that zombies in the background running still. There what I get. Ooh. I've never even gotten one of these. Wow, I've never even seen this before. Now, there you go, dude. Last episode, I was talking about how every once in a while I'll find something. Fucking zombie. Well, at least you dropped money. Thanks, bud. Um, there's some money from you, too. All right. All right, I got to get out of here now. Um, but, yeah, dude. Like, there you go, dude. There's a weapon I've never seen before. I've never found anything like that. I'm assuming by the look of it, it was a submachine gun. Looked like an Uzi. Uzi type situation or like an AK-74U almost, but a little like modified. I'm not sure. I've never seen one of those. All right, let's just get out, dude. And like all of a sudden, I was like, you know what? I can jump up on the Humvee and just fucking jump out, struggling over here. All right, you know what? While I'm here, I'm thinking I should check. Just, just stick my face into the helicopter real quick. Dude, nothing was in either helicopter. There was a third helicopter, and I'm glad I didn't check it now, because why would I? Fuck. The airport has been ridiculously pinner on gear, I gotta be totally honest with you. I mean, we did find the uh, combat scope and the SMG, but otherwise, what do I really have to show for it? I mean, I remember coming back through here in the early days and coming out with... You know, three freaking automatics and uh, a bigger backpack and hella food and meds. I mean, it would just be like large backpack, three guns, and loaded with supplies. Dude, I'm ready to do it. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad it's harder to find gear at the same time, but 
then there's times where I'm like, dude, you guys have cut loot back so much in certain areas that you're just like, if you don't, that's like what the, the biggest bitch for me is sometimes with PvP is that if you don't have a private server to constantly loot and find that gear, then you're not going to be able to jump in PvP and get the shit done. You're not going to be able to get the job done as, eff as effectively because you need you need better guns when you jump into PvP. I mean, you jump in and you go to PvP on a 100-man server, and within six minutes you're dead, and you're like, I, I didn't even have, like, I had a shotgun or a Kruger. I didn't have something that could compete with everybody and their beasting. <laughs> you know, you're just like, damn it. But then there's those of us who play with a different playstyle, and I like to stalk, so as long as I have any kind of weapon, I'm usually okay because generally my targets never even knew that I was there. They just die. Ah, here comes another fucking zombie. All right, Strevel. Strevel! This ain't your fucking series, bro. Get out of here. Surviving Colorado's son. Street shit. Street's a survivor, man. <laughs> My alter ego, Strevel. You guys that don't know about Strevel, do check out my Bandit Diaries. He is the most evil motherfucker. That's uh, that's the most evil bandit you'll ever come come across in uh, War Z. So let me know down below in the comments box if you've ever come into contact with Strevel. Most of you, I don't think even know. <laughs> don't even know if you've run across Strevel. It's all gravy, though. Street will let you know. If I recognize one of your names, I'll let you know. I'll be like, dude, I iced you. <laughs> it's all cool. It's all cool, dude. I'm a survivor. This is what I do. Surviving Colorado. All right, dude. We have made it to the fucking parking lot. I'm over here jibber-jabbering, and uh, we haven't taken damage yet, boys. So, ugh, what's going on with that? Beastism. That's what's going on with that. Oh man, I'm thinking, thinking about dropping that, dude. I got a Jericho with an extra clip, and now I have that SMG. So the Mossin is just, just not gonna fit into the picture anymore, and I need that slot. There we go. Look at that. Another drink. Perfect. I needed something to drink. Oh, thank you, cause dude, I'm gonna be hurting here shortly for drinks. Zombie's looking to get it. Come get it there, pal. Oh, yes. Still haven't taken damage. What? That's good, because I didn't find any fucking medication. Like, son of a bitch, dude. Like, that sucked when I when the game crashed on me when I first jumped in here earlier. Pissed me off, dude. Seriously pissed me off. I was like, dude, you're, you're fucking up the survival here. Because I know that some of you have more than likely, like stopped off somewhere and then thought you were safe and then respawned into a into a server like days later only to be killed by zombies or something you know like you spawn right in the middle of zombies and they're just killing you and that sucks dude especially when you're trying to survive and you got beast gear or something so that's what i instantly flashed on when it crashed on me i was like oh my god dude this is gonna freaking crash on me it's going to throw me in some weird spot that's going to totally screw up my survival because this is endless, dude. There's there's not a moment that I don't record on Surviving Colorado. It's this character's one life. You know, you guys know you can go through five characters in one day. Well, I've put multiple days in now. If you If you put together all the time that I've spent, it's been a couple of game days, actually. And uh, actually, most of the most of the videos have been in the in the daylight, which I just noticed today. Um, I was like, "Wow, it's it's light again, dude." So maybe we'll uh, have some night episodes coming up. I don't know. It all depends on what time I jump on. But you know, this is an endless story of this one character's life in Colorado, and there's no, there hasn't been a moment that I haven't recorded. So the only thing that I even cut out is just the map. So, when I'm traveling a long distance, otherwise you're going to be looking at stuff like this the whole time, which is, I'm just kind of letting myself go because I'm rambling right now, and in, in all honesty, I think the uh, penetration of the airport was a lot longer than the exit, because I, by the time I got everything and got into that stronghold area, I was like, shit, I'm good. Alright, oh, dude, I want to get, there we go, I want a free slot up on my quick keys thing here. But anyway, dude, I'm going to uh, 
think I'm gonna make my way over to Glenwood. Is that is that the the place that I'm thinking of, dude? Glenwood. Yeah, I want to say Glenwood Springs. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Make my way over to Glenwood Springs, cause at this point, dude, I said earlier, you know, I didn't need a better gun, and you know, it's and my my thinking on that is is I have a Jericho with two clips. I got this SMG, and I got a Mossberg with fucking like 24 rounds or something, dude. I'm I'm looking pretty good. It it wasn't enough to put myself at risk for maybe a, an assault rifle with 30 rounds in it, which would be extremely nice right now to be able to alternate between a Mossberg and an assault rifle or something, but not when my life, well, not when the success of my series and not when so much is riding on my survival, I'm not gonna put myself into that predicament. So I think Glenwood Springs is a good spot to get in and get some general items, food and water and meds, and maybe find some additional stuff, and then we'll try to work our way over to uh, Frosty Pines and see if we can get some meds over there. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.